Just like exponentials, logarithms are famous for their properties. There are many properties involving these logarithms and we'll take a look at them here. We're letting m and n be any real numbers. The following hold true. If we're adding logarithms, notice they're the same base. They're both log base b. Log base b of x plus log base b of y, that's the same as a single logarithm base b of x times y. In other words, when we're adding logarithms, we can write it as a single logarithm multiplying the insides. If addition means multiplication, certainly subtraction should mean division. If we have log base b of x minus log base b of y, that's a single logarithm base b of the quotient, x divided by y. Notice the plus goes on top, the added logarithm, the minus, the subtracted logarithm, that's the one that goes in the denominator. Moving on, a very, very powerful one. You'll absolutely need to know this one. Log base b of x to the n is the same thing as n log base b of x. In other words, when we have the log of something to a power, an exponent, we can drop that exponent down front. Very powerful. Next, an interesting little one. Log base b of b is one. Ah, that's pretty nice. Anytime you have a log base and the same inside, those cancel out and just get one. We actually have like a little b to the first here, b to the first power. And so I sort of think, well, the log base b and the b undo each other. We're just left with that one. Number five directly follows if we think about that in the same way. Number five is just the general version of number four. If we have log base b of b to the n power, well, that's just n. In other words, like I said last time, the log base b and the b cancel out. We're just left with that exponent n. Remember how any base to the zero power is one? Well, any log base of one is zero. There's that kind of inverse idea again. Exponentials to the zero equal one, logarithms of one equals zero. And lastly here, we have the so-called change of base formula. We can actually switch the base of a logarithm to any base we want. Say we have log base b of a, and we wanna change that to base c. Well, we have the log base c's, and we put the inside a on the top logarithm, we put the old base b in the bottom logarithm. Change of base formula is very nice because some calculators can't compute every single base out there. Here's a quick example applying these properties. We have a bunch of logarithms. We'd like to write it as a single logarithm. Notice they're all base two. The fact that they're all logarithms base two lets us apply these properties. Now before we can smash these together, we need to take care of these coefficients. Remember one of those properties that log base of any base b of x to the n, this is the same thing as n log base b of x. So this is an equality, we can go back and forth. Often we think of bringing the power down. In this case, we're gonna bring the power up. So our expression will now say log base two of x to the sixth. Imagine bringing the six upstairs. This will say log base two of y to the one half. Bring the one half upstairs and then minus log base two of z cubed, bring the three upstairs. So we're getting close, we only have to do one more thing, we have to combine these. The logarithms which are added, they become a product. The logarithms subtracted, those become a quotient. What do I mean? Well, I mean we can write this as a very single logarithm, whichever are added, namely the x to the sixth and the y to the one half, they go on top, Whichever are subtracted, namely the z cubed, that goes on the bottom. And we've written this long expression as a single logarithm. You'll need these properties quite often, not just for problems like this, but also solving logarithmic equations. I recommend reviewing this video and those properties very thoroughly.